What's up guys, it's Red Cruise here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a very simple, really, really cool intro using KineMaster and Pixel Lab, which is very easy. It's very simple and very easy. Both of these apps are free in the Play Store. Um, I will do a tutorial where you guys can cannot get the watermark on KineMaster and I'll do that tomorrow. But for now, what you guys will need to do is simply open up Pixel Lab. If you guys don't know how to install your own fonts, as you guys see, I have my own font right here. So I'm simply going to start a new one. All right, so now that I started a new one, now what you guys will need to do is simply just choose a default, the default text right here. And then what you guys want to do is simply go right here and go into edit. Once you guys are in edit, you guys want to put in your name. I'm just going to put in my name right here. Wrath Cruise. Now what you guys have done that, now what you guys need to do is simply come all the way over and go into font. What you guys are in font, if you, again, if you guys do not know how to install your own fonts, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys, because I'll leave a link to my video where I teach you guys how to install your own fonts to Pixel App. Once you guys have installed your font, so right now I'm going to go on ahead and use this one. Once you guys have done that, now you guys get to customize as you guys wish. And this is really weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in wrath as in a lowercase. There we go. There, that looks a whole lot better. Now what you guys have done that, now what you guys we need to do is come over and go into, um, where is it at, where is it at? There we go. You guys want to go into stroke. What you guys are in stroke, enable the stroke and increase it to not, not that high, but increase it to like nine or 10 because that would, that would actually look really nice then this is optional you guys can do this if you guys want you guys can add, actually add in a 3d shadow which will actually look a whole lot better and really really smoother than in my opinion now what you guys have done that you guys will need to simply go over into this little box right here where it has the two squares and press transparent and put the transparent background on and then you guys can either increase the size but i keep the size as that so now what you guys have done that you guys simply just tap on this little save card right up here and go to save as image and save it as a png do not save it as a j uh, jpg um save it as a png and go to save the gallery and i'll see you guys in kind master once you guys are in kind master all you guys will now need to do is simply just tap on this plus button and go to empty project once you guys are in project you guys will need to grab a background from your media browser which i'm gonna do right here i know it's kind of surprising because i did choose a green background but easily simple, you guys could get a background from Google uh, Google Images, to type in red background, blue background, any background that you guys want. But I like this background, this exact background is actually really cool. So I'm gonna increase it to seven seconds. So now what you guys would need to do is tap on this crop bar right here and go ahead and press this to uh, this little pause and make sure you guys move it and zoom in until it fills the whole screen to where you guys cannot see no black marks on the side. And now what you guys have done that, as you guys can see, it will stay still. Now what you guys will need to do is simply just go on ahead and add in a, a plain. You guys will need to add in a plain uh, background, which I'm gonna do right here. Now what you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is increase it and just make it as long as the, uh, the whole entire video. So as you guys can see, now what you guys will need to do is simply press this key, tap on the white and press this key and move it slowly to where it starts saying plus. So oh, as you guys can see, I'm gonna put a little circle around it. As you guys can see, you guys will see like it's faded in. You guys wanna move it, move it more. Whoops. You guys will need to move it more until it stops doing it, as you guys can see right there. So now what you guys will need to do is simply press plus and just move it to the side, as you guys can see right there. Now, something very easy and very simple that I figured out. All you guys, instead of grabbing a new slate, a layer and grabbing a different color, you guys can easily change the color by tapping on the white and tapping this little white uh, circle right here. You guys can change it to green, pink, red, and blue, whatever color you guys wish. But I'm going to stay with white. So now what you guys have done, you guys want to duplicate that and do the same thing. But instead, now what you guys need to do is change the color to whatever whatever color you guys wish. So this one is a green background, so I'm gonna probably do a, a light a light green. And then now what you guys have done, you guys will need to move it ahead a little bit, as you guys can see as I'm doing right here. Move it just a slab, not too much, not too much, because it looks weird. So as you guys can see, it will look like that. So now what you guys will need to do is tap on the green and go to send and go to send to back. Once you guys have done that, now as you guys can see, you guys get that little transformation. 
as you guys see right there now um it looks kind of weird because it's going together you guys want to try and make it flow so you guys want to try to like so when it comes first like the white one comes first and then the green one as you guys can see right there so now it looks very nice and decent now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this and go to duplicate and duplicate that one then do the same thing bring it a little bit forward not too much and change the color on this one as well and for this one i'm gonna change it to a dark green no actually i'm gonna change it to a brighter green which is that one and then now what you guys will need to do is the same thing and go to send it back and now as you guys can see you guys got your little introduction right here oh i forgot i gotta send this one to back too oh yeah make sure the way i'm gonna do this you guys want to make sure that the audio fade out is off so check that off but now what you guys will need to do the same to this one send this one to back as well and now as you guys can see you guys got your little animation as well and then and there you guys go now what you guys will need to do is simply go into your images and grab the picture from pixel lab which i'm gonna do right here once you guys have gotten your image from pixel lab now what you guys will need to do is choose your music which i'm gonna do right here all right so once you guys have found your music now what you guys will need to do is simply as you guys can see the very bottom one right here is actually ends right here so now what you guys will need to do is simply tap is simply come right here until where it ends which is right here and then you guys want to grab tap on the uh the main the main video or the main picture go to trim and slightly go to the right a little bit more and as you guys can see you guys will see the split playhead uh go on and you what you guys will need to do is just sit split at playhead now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this picture and simply co come right here and go into now this is very important so now what you guys will need to do is grab it with your two fingers and zoom it in as you guys see as i'm doing right here so what we're going to do is we're going to disable that so now what you guys will need to do is zoom in this one in and then right here you guys want to from the bottom you guys want to zoom out as simple as that it's very easy and very simple now what you guys have done that just press that check mark and as you guys can see you guys will see that animation going through right there so now what you guys will need to do is go on ahead and grab this image and bring it up to right here now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is go into the animation once you guys are in the animation simply come right here uh go to like one second ahead and grab it and make sure you guys can see this little arrow right here and just bring it uh up just like that now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do you guys can do it with two fingers as well but now what you guys will need to do is simply wait 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 baby before you guys do that you guys want to come to the very start and enlarge it as big as you can now what you guys have done that you guys want to go one second ahead which is right there and then what you guys will need to do is simply press this plus sign and just drop it back down as you guys see i'm doing right here with my two fingers once you guys have dropped it back down, now what you guys will need to do is go a couple seconds ahead and simply just make it a little bit more smaller. So now as you guys can see, you guys will get that little animation where it drops in. As you guys see right there. So now what you guys will need to do, and this one is offbeat, so I'm just going to, you guys don't want to zoom in that much. So as you guys can see, this one is like right here. So you guys can simply come up to the top right here and just zoom in as I do right here. Just zoom in. No need to zoom out or anything. Make sure it's not too big or too small. So now it will go on point. So now there you guys go. And now what you guys have done that. Now what you guys need to do is simply grab your logo. As you guys can see my logo at the bottom right. You guys can easily get, grab your logo. If you guys do, you guys don't have to if you guys don't. All right, so once you guys have gotten your logo, now what you guys will need to do is simply, as you guys can see, you guys want to come to the start of this text right here of your text and bring the logo to exactly, exactly like two seconds ahead of that. Once you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is simply go onto your logo and press this little, uh, this little key right here and make sure this is a, for you guys able to see it, make sure you guys make it smaller and tilt it to where it's harder to see and now what you guys will need to do is simply go a couple of seconds ahead and just tilt it and make it larger again 
as you guys see right there so now what you guys have done that as it as it is getting smaller as you guys see where it stops which is probably like around right here you guys want to make it smaller what you guys have uh, done making it smaller now what you guys will need to do is simply just make it a little bit larger not too small because it'll look weird now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on it and go to send to back and now as you guys can see I'm gonna line it up real quick so now as you guys can see you guys with that like that little nice view of it Now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is a very simple and very easy um for some odd reason this is where it, this is where it kind of gets confusing because my video got striked down of the kai master no root video layer and stuff it got striked down for somebody i don't know how he striked it down it wasn't even violent because it was my content but anyways um i'm gonna upload another tutorial tomorrow about how to use the no root video layer so if you guys do um if you guys don't have root so stick around because that video is going to be uploaded very soon but once you guys um once you guys have done that you guys want to go to your video layer have a shock once you guys have gotten a shock wave now what you guys will need to do is go to the drop which is the drop is probably right here so now what you guys will need to do is enlarge it to where it fills the screen and now what you guys will need to do now is simply come over here and go into color filter once you guys are in color filter scroll all the way down until you guys see the color that you guys like which my intro is going to be green so i'm going to use a green version so now what you guys now will need to do is simply go all the way i mean not all the way down go to chroma key and enable the chroma key tap on the key color and go into green i mean black because the blood it's a black background okay but <laughs> once you guys have done that as you guys can see you guys will see that effect right there but you guys now need to do is just simply just move it ahead so because you guys want it on point you guys don't want it like off off uh bay off beat or anything so that's that was kind of off point i've done that um because it was really off beat i had to increase the time so it was on beat so i cut that part out but what you guys will need to do is simply tap on it and go on ahead and go into center back now as you guys can see the shock is in the back and as you guys can see the shock is in the back so now what you guys will need to do is simply get a swoosh sound so it will be the ending of it which i'm gonna do right here once you guys have gotten your swoosh sound you guys want to increase the sound all the way up so that everybody can hear it because this music is going to be loud so now what you guys have increased the sound you guys want to tap on the song and go on ahead and go into this volume envelope once you guys are in the volume em envelope now what you guys will need to do is come like so like a couple seconds behind it as you guys see well uh before the ending and just keep it at 100 once you guys have done that now what you guys we need to do is come all the way down right here and just lower it not too much but a little bit like 60 or so and then put this all the way at the end so now you guys will get that swoosh sound so as you guys can see you guys was hear that swoosh sound so now what you guys have done that now what you guys we need to do is grab a jet uh, a black a black uh regular background now what you guys have done that now what you guys we need to do is increase the size and bring it to the side and then what you guys have done that now what you guys we need to do is simply go into the key and go all the way into like a couple seconds ahead and what you guys have done that just press the plus and just increase it and just just like that just end it just like that so now what you guys have done that it would look like this and that was actually off beat so i'm just going to put it a little bit more ahead there we go so now what you guys have done that um i'm gonna go ahead and increase the um increase the time so that would be like a jet black background. So now as you guys can see. And then now what you guys want to do. Uh, <laughs> what you guys will need to do. Is kind of lower this a little bit more. Not too much though. So as you guys can see. The song will end just right there. There you guys go. So once it does that. Now what you guys will need to do is cut it. Right here. 
and now that's pretty much it now this is optional you guys can stop the video right here um so what you guys will need to do is grab a black image uh, to grab the black image simply come up to the top right here and just do the same routine as i always did just come on right here and make sure you guys are on are on beat which is right here so now what you guys will need to do for some odd reason i think this makes the intro a lot better than what it looks i don't know why it, it, it improves it a lot in my opinion so now what you guys will need to do is go on the key and press plus on it and just move it down just a bit and now what you guys will need to do is duplicate that one actually you know what you guys don't have to duplicate it that's like doing way too much so you just grab another image key and just increase it and well you guys will move a couple seconds ahead of course and then increase it now what you guys have done that you guys are basically done so this is how it looks And then the music will stop right there. And now what you guys will also can do is simply just increase it so that the music can play out. So now what you guys want to do now is simply just go into here, here and go into auto audio fade out and just simply increase, um, decrease the seconds. So I'm going to put it at 0 0.50 seconds. And now here we go. So there you guys go. That's very simple and very easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay on the lookout for another video today, which is a gameplay. Um, I'm making videos for everybody that everybody likes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button. Let's try to hit 75 likes for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch y'all tomorrow.